Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm going to share with you my Scentsy Club that came about a week ago. I am just opening the box now and diving in really because I know what's in here so it's not like it's anything really new for me to check out but I figured I would just share with you what I have in my subscription currently. So full disclosure this is a bit of a big club. Um, I currently have I think like 50 maybe 48 to 50 bars in here. Um, even more so now that I added the fall and winter that just discontinued out of the catalog. So basically I limit myself to a quarterly club because I know myself and I have no self-control apparently with the amount of bars I have now on my club. But I think this shipment had like 45 maybe, which is still way too many. But if I have more than one club, it'll just be completely like, I feel like all of them would be out of control. So I limit myself to one club and I just put whatever I want in there and then I'm constantly editing it. I haven't filmed in a club edit video yet. I maybe plan to in a couple of months, probably before my next shipment comes in May, I'll go through and decide like what I really need in here. Basically, a lot of these are bring back my bar from this past round in January. I like to keep bars in my club if if I love them and then if I need to melt them a couple more times to really decide how I feel about them, I'll throw them in my club so that way I know I have it for safekeeping in case I end up really loving it. So my half off uh, item I got was the cotton cleanups, which this size sadly is now discontinued, but I wanted to grab one more pack of these because I really like them. I just started using these maybe like two months ago and I've had like two packs of them and I just never really reached for them. I didn't like get the hype around them, but since I have been using these, you guys, it really makes it so much easier. I could put one of these in the three warmers in my like dining room kitchen area and it cleans all of them and just makes it easier. I usually hot dump, but this makes it easier so I don't have to like go back and forth with dumping the dishes and wiping them out. So I'm sad that this is my last full pack. Today is March 1st when I'm filming this, so the new size of Scent Circles did just release this morning. So I went ahead and ordered them this morning just out of plain curiosity because I want to see for myself what the size actually looks like. Sorry, I need a sip of coffee. I want to see for myself what the size truly looks like and the usage that it'll give me in my home so I can decide from there if I want to continue to use them as my half off item or whatnot. But enough rambling. We have quite a bit of wax to get through here. I'm not going to go ahead and read each scent description with the notes just because that'll take all day. I know many of these bars you guys are probably familiar with anyway. So first one here is Crumb Top. This is absolutely amazing. This was from the January 23 Bring Back My Bar. And this to me reminds me of Crumb Cake like or Coffee Cake as some people know it that brown sugar kind of crumbly topping that's on top of a crumb cake is exactly what this reminds me of and for bakery this is a great performer a great mixer I really like to mix this with cranberry muffin or I'll mix this with any other bakery that I feel I just want a little bit of a cinnamon sugar flair to really love this if I have a coffee wax going and I want to add some bakery I'll mix this in with it it's amazing it's versatile and it's a great performer that's never leaving my club Next I have, this is from the most recent Bring Back My Bar, Toasted Apple Butter. I got two of these. I did kind of want to start to build a little stockpile of this scent because I really like it. It's a nice, warm, spicy apple pie type scent. I didn't really load up on this one before it went away, so I figured with this club shipment I would get two and then lower it to one. I really want to have a nice stash of this come late summer early fall because I feel this is one I'll be reaching for a lot so that's toasted apple butter what's next here this is another one from the January bring back my bar this is Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond this took me by surprise this is such a good fizzy grape scent typically I'm not the biggest fruity scent fan I don't know what's going on lately. I'm really into all the citrus and all the fruits. And when I warmed this from the Bring Back My Bar, I was like, I really like this. I don't, 
I don't believe I have much grape at all in my collection. This honestly might be the only grape scent I have. So I did grab a six pack of this before it went away and then I wanted to get one or two more bars. And now that the licensed bars are up to $7, I may even take this out of my club as I really like it. And like I said, I have no grape in my collection. So I'm going to keep this in there for now. And then most likely by the time my May shipment is getting ready to process, I probably will take it out. I just want to melt this another time or two and just make sure it's something that I absolutely love if I'm going to keep it in my club for $7. Otherwise, I can't justify it. So that is Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. I don't know that I heard many people talk about this during the Bring Back My Bar. So if you're a lover of this bar, let me know. I just think it's so, it's just so happy, fruity, fun. This is going to be such a good one for the spring and summer. That glare was nuts. The lighting in here is not the best. So I'm trying to like figure out where I want to do my filming. Anyway. Next is another licensed bar. This was from... I think it went away, was it December 31st? It may went away or September 31st. It went away, I don't know. It went away a couple months ago. This is Frightfully Delightful. This is so good too. This is peach, pumpkin with a little bit of cinnamon. This is staying in my club regardless of the price increase because this is another one that is so unique. I don't have anything like this. Never in my wildest dreams would I think I would like peach and pumpkin together, but there's just something so delicious about how this is blended that I need this in my life. So I have a couple of bars by now, but I, this is definitely sticking around. And I'll see by this upcoming fall how often I really reach for this. And if I find myself not melting it as much as I anticipated, then it'll come out at that point. But that is frightfully delightful. Next from the January Bring Back My Bar that just recently ended. This is Cinnamon. This is not staying in my club forever, but it did pleasantly surprise me. It does, now that I heard people say it, it does give me the vibes of like big red gum. But I like how crisp and strong the peppermint is in here. And then you just get a dash of cinnamon. I think this is gonna, this is so beautiful for the winter time. So I just wanted a couple of bars of this and then I'll be taking it out. So I actually might take this out before my next shipment. I just wanted to get another bar or two. Next is Bananas. Another Bring Back My Bar from January. This is good. Definitely is more of a candied Laffy Taffy type of banana, but you do get that creaminess in the coconut in here. This is one I already took out of my club after this club processed. Again, it's just one that I want another bar or two of to stock up for the summertime. I think this is going to be really nice to mix with or even just melt on its own when I want my house to smell like happy and fruity and summery. So I may regret taking this out of my club because I actually think it would be really nice to blend with crumb top or like another bakery, but I'm sure I could find some somewhere if I'm looking to get more, but that is bananas. <clears throat> next this is from a previous bring back my bar i want to say june of 23's bring back my bar this is painted leaves i know this is a very hit or miss scent for people it's a very strong crisp clean outdoorsy type scent you do get the vibes of like cold fall air but you also get like crunchy leaves it's like very atmospheric on a like a cooler fall day for me I really like this. This is an absolute powerhouse. This is a bar that you want to warm like every other warmer. Otherwise, it'll blow you out of your house. It's so nice, though. I really like the mint in here and like the minty cool air type like vibe you get along with the crunchy leaves. So this is going to stay in my club. Same thing with Frightfully Delightful. I think I'll leave it in until the fall season and then see how often I reach for it. And if I find myself not reaching for it much, it'll get cut then next is cranberry muffin this was from the january 2023 bring back my bar this is nice i'm very hit or miss with cranberry this has stayed in my club for quite some time full disclosure i really don't reach for this bar much but because cranberry is such a hit or miss fragrance for me i really like the way that this one is done the way that the bakery comes out in combination with this beautiful juicy cranberry 
I really like it. So I'm going to give this one another cycle or two. And if I don't find myself reaching for it either, it'll get cut. But I did want to have a nice stock of it before I decide to take it out. So that one will be to be determined before next shipment as well. Vanilla Barnwood. This was from, this wasn't the sense of the season. This was from the holiday collection, I believe. Beautiful musky amber vanilla fragrance. It smells very sophisticated to me. Very warm. The amber in here, I believe it's amber that's in here. Just makes it so cozy and beautiful. I don't get the Fruit Loops that a lot of people get with this scent. I've smelled it so many times. I've melted it a couple of times. I don't personally get that out of this bar. On the bottom, you do get a little bit of a citrus, almost like a lemon, but I don't get cereal. So, which I'm kind of glad about because I feel like I would feel differently about this bar if that's what I got out of it, but I don't. So, I really like this. This is a beautiful bar to gift to somebody. It's a beautiful bar to warm if you have people coming over and you just want your house to smell like pretty and, and welcoming. This is a great one to melt. So that is Vanilla Barnwood. When you see your club, like as you're going down the screen and editing, it looks like a lot, but then when it shows up in a box, you're like, I really gotta do something about this. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I really have to do something about this. This is crazy. Next, I have two from the recent Bring Back My Bar that ended the end of January. This is Toasted Caramel Sugar. This is what I know I'm going to knock down to one bar by the next shipment. Again, same situation. I just wanted to get a little bit more of a stock before I cut it down. But this is a beautiful burnt sugar sweet type scent. Amazing performer. Great on its own. A great mixer. So very versatile. I really like this one. So this is going to stay in my club, but it will be knocked down to one bar. Mediterranean Spa. This is from January of 23. Bring back my bar. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Refreshing, crisp, zen. It's like a soft aquatic type scent, but I do get an undertone of a lemon or some a lemon or eucalyptus in here it's just absolutely gorgeous if you want your house to smell like pure relaxation and zen this is what you need to melt i love warming this bar on a day where i just feel overwhelmed i feel stressed out and i just want my space to feel like it's gonna bring me some peace and serenity this is what i warm absolutely love this this is great Anywhere. I melt this in my living room. I melt this in my bedroom. I melt this in my bathroom. I melt this in my office. Anywhere. Absolutely beautiful. I know Natalie from Jersey Shore Living also loves this bar. She says the same thing. It's like you're walking into a high-end spa. Absolutely beautiful. I really like this one. It's a good performer as well. So that is one that's never leaving my club. Next is one that was quite controversial in the last bring back my bar from January 20, uh, January 24. Yes. Everything nice. Definitely a fall fragrance. It's rich, buttery pumpkin with a little bit of cinnamon. It has pecan, I believe in there. Really nice. I love the buttery aspect to this. Thankfully, I'm not one who gets puke out of this fragrance. I think it's just a rich, nice, buttery fall bakery leaning fragrance. So Definitely will stay in my club until fall time just to get a stock. Really, I'm going to reevaluate my fall bars after the fall season and see how much I reach for them. Same goes for White Pumpkin and Driftwood. This is a beautiful cardamom with a light pumpkin and a vanilla. It's so beautiful. This, to me, is like classy, sophisticated, upscale fall fragrance. It's not, it has spice in here, but it's not your typical potpourri craft store type spice. It really feels sophisticated with that vanilla and the charred pumpkin. To me, this is like rustic fall, 100%, and I absolutely love it. My house smelled amazing, so cozy and warm. I just didn't want to leave home when I was warming this, so I knew how much I loved it the first time I warmed it. Next is from the Bring Back My Bar in January, Red Cedar and Sage. This was very hit or miss to people as well. 
I tend to personally really like the strong masculine outdoorsy type scents and that's exactly what this gives me. It's like a fresh outdoorsy aftershave type scent powerhouse. So this is another one along with painted leaves that you really want to warm in every other warmer. Otherwise it'll completely blow you out of your house. This, I don't know how long this is going to stay in my club just because I feel like I can really like stretch these bars out because of how strong this fragrance is. I think right now I have two or three bars of this. I think I'll let myself get to like five bars and then I'll probably take this out of my club. I don't feel like it's one I'm going to reach for super often which is why when I do have to make cuts to my club I'm really gonna try and think logically about which scents I'm reaching for the most which scents are more unique to scents I already have in my collection since I do have vendor wax as well so I really like this one but it's one I have to be realistic about and see how often I'm really gonna warm it Next is Frosted Ginger Cookie, another bring back my bar from this past January. Like I said, I really just threw all the ones that I enjoyed in my club just to be able to melt a couple more times and really decide. I don't believe I have anything like this in my collection. It's super sharp on the ginger, but you do get a warm, gooey brown sugar cookie. But it also comes off lemon to me, which I do like. I don't have a ton of lemon bakery in my collection and I was informed from other consultants that this was available previously a couple years ago and there actually was lemon in the scent notes then so it makes sense as to why I'm picking that up in this bar but amazing performer. I think I have a couple of bars of this so uh, I want to keep this in for a while because it is unique to anything I have but I will make a decision later on. Crazy Coconut. This is one that I actually removed from my club after this processed along with bananas. Same concept with bananas. I just wanted another bar or two to be able to melt throughout the summertime on its own or be able to mix. It's not my favorite coconut, but it's a it's nice, fruity, vanilla. I do get a little bit of that waxy undertone that I know people talk about with Sensi's coconut. I don't get it on warm. I get it on cold. I have other coconut fragrances I prefer over this one, like Kukui and Coconut. So... I wanted to just get a couple more bars and this came out of my club afterwards. <clears throat> Next, this was June 2023 scent of the month, Pacific Mist. I love this. This is just a beautiful, sweet, crisp, salty sea air fragrance. I know not many people cared for this bar. A lot of people think it smelled like a cleaner product or a public bathroom. Absolutely not to me. It's a beautiful, sweet, perfumey, salty sea air type fragrance. I really like this. I think this is going to be really pretty to mix with any fruity scents that you just want to give more of a summery, beachy feel to. Or even it's really nice on its own if you're cleaning or you just want your house to smell nice and fresh and summery. This is a great option, so... Until I find another Salty Sea Air fragrance that I may love more than this, this will stay in my club. Okay. From Bring Back My Bar, 20, January 24, this is Caramel Sugar Cone. This is just a beautiful waffle cone fragrance with like a thick caramel that you would get, say, on an ice cream sundae. It's sweet. It's more of a perfumey caramel, but you do get the waffle cone. This I'm going to cut down to one bar because now I have a little bit of a stock of it, but I absolutely love it. It's very good on its own. Another one that's that would be nice to mix with. So <clears throat> I have to be careful because now I'm starting to have a lot of bakery in my club. I do really like bakery, but it's not the category that I really reach for first. So I have to do some cuts. Rustic Lodge. This is from, I want to say June of 23, bring back my bar. A nice woodsy fragrance with a little bit of a spice and clean undertone to it. This is a powerhouse performer. This just gives me such great cozy feelings when it comes to winter. I really enjoyed this one. I melted this one a couple times over this past winter season so I wanted to rebuild my stock of it. This I'm going to keep in my club for a while. Don't know if it'll stay forever but I just love this. I love tree fragrances and I really enjoy this one. 
Falling Leaves. This is from the January 24 Bring Back My Bar. Typical potpourri, fall spice type fragrance with the cinnamon and the clove, but I really like the patchouli that's in here. It gives it like a nice musky depth to this fragrance. So this is one that's going to stay simply because I really enjoy the patchouli in here. And then once this fall comes around, same thing. I sound like a broken record, but I'll see how often I reach for it. And if I didn't reach for it as often as I thought that it'll come out then. My goodness. Seeing these all in person, it's like, homegirl, you need to reel it in somewhere. Woodland Suede. This is from the, I believe, January 23, Bring Back My Bar. Oh, this is never leaving my club. This and Mediterranean Spa were both in the same Bring Back My Bar. And these will be in my club until the end of time. This is amazing. This is a beautiful, slightly sweet, but masculine woodsy fragrance. It smells like a men's, like a woodsy men's body wash, but something in here just gives it a little bit of a, like a sweet undertone, keeps it from being like too sharp or too cologne -y. This is a beautiful bedroom fragrance. I really like warming this in my office as well. It's just super cozy. And just gorgeous. Nothing like this in my collection. I really like that one. Sugar Plum Berry. This is from the Scents of the Season that just discontinued on December 31st. Beautiful, outdoorsy, woodsy, wintry fragrance. But you do get that, I guess it's plumberry since it's in the name. You get that little bit of sweetness from the plumberry. I really like this. I had originally put sugar plumberry and frosted white pine in my club but I ended up taking frosted white pine out because I like the unique aspect of this that it has the berry and the tree in there and since I did decide to club very snowy spruce because I absolutely love that fragrance I decided to take iced white pine out so that is sugar plumberry super strong performer really enjoy this one Mint to be Merry. This was November's scent of the month. I believe it just discontinued as of last night, February 29th. This to me is very similar to Bath and Body Works's Peppermint Sugar Cookie. Really like this one. I love peppermint at nighttime. So this is one I know I'll reach for quite a bit. I believe I actually have two of these. Yeah, here's the other one. So I got two of these. I think I'm going to let one more shipment go by with two bars and then I'll end up lowering this to one. By the time my next club is getting ready to process, I really should do a club edit so I can listen to this video again and stick to my word because I probably will have FOMO and not want to listen to myself. From this past January 24, bring back my bar, Vanilla Walnut. Beautiful, warm vanilla fragrance, a little bit of nuttiness from the walnut. This was a little bit light for me when I first warmed it. I would say it was more of a light medium. So I did want to get another couple more bars and let them sit and warm these in a couple weeks and see how this performs. So I got a couple of bars recently. Was it a party closeout or a random last minute haul? I grabbed a couple more bars and then I threw it at my club. So if it ends up not performing, I'll just end up warming what I have and take it out. But I wanted to have it for safekeeping. Rum Pum Plum, another bar that was in the same collection with Vanilla Barnwood. It must have been the winter, some winter collection, you guys. It wasn't Sense of the Season. I can't think of what it was called right now. Beautiful, juicy plum fragrance. You do get a little bit of almost like a bakery pie crust note in here. So I do really like this one. This will stay for quite some time. Peony Petals. This is one of my top shocks from the past bring back my bar in January I don't know what it is I'm not a floral person but this and twilight these are staying in my club I don't even know how long you guys these both pleasantly surprised me so much this is beautiful it is a little bit of a powdery floral but I get a beautiful sweet perfuminess to this that that's mainly what I get from here is like a perfumey sweet floral like a body care lotion type of floral. It's just so pretty. I really like warming this in my bedroom or in my walk-in closet area. It just makes it smell so girly and fun. It's going to be super pretty in the spring and summer. So peony petals. 
Twilight. This is an absolute powerhouse. What I love about this bar is I get so much more of the salty sea air than I do of the floral notes that are in here. This goes for like three days and it's so strong that I only really need to warm two cubes at a time in a room and it'll last three going on four days. It's amazing how long one bar lasts me forever. So I want to keep this in my club for a long haul simply because it's nothing like I have in my collection. I don't have any salty sea air floral type fragrances and the fact that it performs so well it's so it's so worth it to keep it around for me. Oh, it's just such a crisp clean fragrance but you also get that femininity of the floral. It's just so pretty to me. Main, I know mainly people get flora out of this. I get 80% salty sea air, 20% floral. I really like this one. I was in a minority as we all know with this Bring Back My Bar. So I loved so many that many people didn't even like. Amaretto. This one was quite popular from the recent Bring Back My Bar for good reason. It was a super good performer and it's just a beautiful authentic amaretto scent great on its own great as a mixer with other bakery so this will stick around for quite some time all right we're getting down to the last couple of bars i'm sorry i'm blowing through these i have a lot i need to do today so i just wanted to get this film before i sat down and started anything graham cracker crunch this I put in my club around January or February of 23. So I don't remember if it was a bring back my bar or just discontinued out of the catalog. Beautiful, creamy peanut butter scent, but you get the crunchiness of the graham cracker. This isn't going anywhere. Again, unique to anything I have in my collection. I don't believe I have much of anything at all in my collection with peanut butter. And this is just done so well. Caramel praline cake, scents of the season. This reminds me so much of my almond croissant that I absolutely love. I'm hoarding my couple of bars of that, but I need to just warm them and enjoy them. But when I warmed this, I really smelt such a similarity between the two. So I don't know how... I also recently added King Cake to my club as a complete FOMO type thing, which I do enjoy it. But these they're pretty similar to where I don't know if I need both. So I kind of need to do a day where I warm... Caramel praline cake in one room and cream cream cake, king cake in the other room and see which one I prefer because I can't really justify having both. They're great cakey bakery type fragrances aside the fact that this one has more caramel and the other one has more butter. So I need to see which one I prefer and make some decisions. Cherry's Jubilee. This one will most likely get cut within the next cycle or two. The reason why... I added this is because this is a cherry that I do not get a medicinal vibe from and it's super hard for me to find a cherry that I could jive with and this is just one that I do enjoy although I did just recently get a couple of bricks of maraschino sugar cookie which is a cherry leaning bakery so I'm gonna keep this around for a few cycles see how often I reach for it over the spring and summer time I just think this is such a fun mixer to have to mix with like a excuse me, a lemon fragrance to do like a cherry lemonade. Just a fun mixer to have for summertime or even just to melt on its own if I want something super fun and fruity. But I don't see this staying for a long haul at all. Ghostly Greetings. This is definitely something that's hit or miss for many people. This was from the June 23 Bring Back My Bar. A beautiful, deep, spiced plum fragrance. I really like this and it performs really well. So this it's not something i reach for super often so i don't know how long this will stick around we'll see last but not least this is one of probably the most disliked bars that i hear people do not like since i've really gotten involved with scentsy and this is simply patchouli i don't know what it is you guys i really do like this one yes it's strong it's smack you in the face strong with like dirt and earthiness and patchouli but I like it again same realm as red cedar and sage you do not put this in every warmer you your roof will blow off your neighbors will be smelling it you'll want to leave home if you do that but it's enjoyable when you spread it out and just have that earthy fragrance I I enjoy it 
on a rainy day, a damp, dark, dreary, rainy day, I have worn this and it just set the mood. I really enjoyed this. I also have mixed this in combination with like a vanilla fragrance. I had a vanilla fragrance from a vendor. It was a straight up creamy vanilla and I put in alternating warmers along with this and it really mellowed it out and just made it like more toned down and just yeah I have no other way to describe it just mellowed it out and creamed it out a little and I really enjoyed doing that so this will stay for quite some time because it is such a powerhouse I don't know how many bars I need in my collection because five or six bars will last me a really long time but because it's so unique and I don't see this being voted back within that you know after that five year span I don't know if it's that popular that it'll be voted back that's what makes me want to hang on to this so we'll see I'm going to see how often I reach for it within this next, you know, five or six months. And then we'll decide from there. But that is everything. We got through it all. Like I said, I'm sorry. I kind of sped through these. I didn't want to go through scent notes because we would be here for like an hour. And I just couldn't do that today with everything I have to do. So I just wanted to quickly share with you what I have. This was a totally impromptu last minute decision to film. So I, I feel quite tongue tied and like my thoughts weren't quite together yet, but I really just wanted to get to get on here and share this with you all. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and watching and I'm sure we'll be chatting in the comments. Take care. Bye.